couple fireworks to start the day here. 50 kilograms. Golston. Mongolian coming off a tremendous world championship performance. Back-to-back -back medals for Dolgorchov. A bronze in 21, a silver last year. Just five seconds to go before she gives up another point. Activity clock will expire. Out of her own now. She comes in on the leg of Golston, almost had the cradle, still looking for a possible cradle situation. She gets the takedown. Now she switches quickly to an arm bar, and she's going to try to roll Golston over, and she has a lot of leverage on this one. And Mongolia in a pretty good position. You see the torque on the right shoulder of Golston. Golston doing a good job fighting here, but there's a lot of time left in this period. It's going to be hard to fight through that. And inch your way out of it. What, what, what's the best solution underneath here for her? It, it looks like that left hand is really trying to push that knee over the head, but as I say, that gives up the fall, so. And she has been on a roll here in 2022. This is an athlete to keep an eye on as you move closer to the world's 23 and then eventually the Olympic Games. Gambatar, the 26-year-old, has some experience, has traveled extensively, has been Mongolia. Inner circle. Taylor burying the head of Gambatar. Activity point is going to expire. Taylor, short time wrestling, down to seven, down to six, goes into a body lock position, and now Gambatar is able to catch her for four at the end of the first period. Let's see if it gets confirmed. No points awarded yet. Boy, they, these two have had some really fun scrambles, and both of them have gone Gambatar's way. Approaching a minute to go. Well, the composure there by Gambatar, she just, both situations just didn't give it up. They turned it into her own offense. Just don't give up position. She has been on. Some deep shots. There's a straight on double, a blast double by Gambantar. Taylor tried to lift her up and over, but Gambantar is going to finish this one early. Mongolia with a fall. And now they're going to pick up four more additional team points with the superiority win. Some pretty serious injuries, some doubt the past year and a half. She is back fully in. Went off a huge win last night. This will be a lot of fun. These two competitors and all that they have accomplished. And Jennifer Kett was in. Straight on double there, getting to the lower legs and getting two for Badocher. And immediately trying to get the legs crossed up. A two to one lead as she gets the takedown and the turn. Four to one, Badocher. She might not be done near the edge. And Jenna did a really good job getting him. She's not going to win if she ties it at four on criteria. Trying to get to those double unders, and now she comes over the side and gets the two. And she's within a point. And Burkett looking to cut the corner, and a nice defensive transition for Bado Chur. But, you know, that was the position every wrestling coach talks about. You know, 30 seconds left, you're down by a point. What's your go-to takedown? The reversal will come, but it will be Badocher. Even the referee waiting before he raised an arm after that lengthy explanation. But Christian, you're right on it. 7-6, Badocher. Time that she's ever won a match at the international level. She talked about it after her bronze medal run and hoping to carry the momentum into the is Hedrick. Batterdine now goes behind, brings her down to her back, gets exposure, immediately tries to hook up a wrench. Batterdine with a 4-0 lead. Here's an opportunity possibly for Hedrick to get her first points. See the width right now with the two legs underneath. Quad potty trying to get that point of contact down, and Hedrick does. Position right to a trap arm. Her right hand should come back, look to secure that arm. But Batter Dean just holding on to that leg for dear life. And there she's got it, so she continues to look at that trap arm was right there. She missed it. Ten seconds to go, swing single. 
And all he needs is a, all she needs is a push out here, and we're close to the edge. Gets the double unders. Can she reel off a throw out of bounds? And she gets the step out point. Actually lost. They were the one who issued the challenge. The American wins with the step out point with inside a second to go. Alley of this bronze medal World Cup session. Going to give the Mongolian a 2 0 lead, but. And the throw by Urkenbayar. Well, that was textbook on the execution. She'll get the four and a 6 0 lead. Pretty tough hole to dig yourself out of. And then one on the reversal there, so 7 2 now. And Erkan Bayar takes Basham to her pack a second time. And she has thoughts of a possible fall as she repositions. Now Basham down nine is able to get out of the harm's way of a pin. She will team point. Certainly nice. going for it, and she will get it. And just herself in a position that could have been an advantage, but you know, really was an advantage for the Mongolian. People warming up, and a lot of people like to get hyped up, and they're listening to loud music, and they're slapping their face. Kayla Mir Miracle was just a nice single leg for Miracle, and drives it up for the push out. Inside tie and headlock for Suki. Call the two there, and one on the reversal for Miracle. She tries to go into a lace. And this is what I was talking about right here. And she has, she has one turn. Miracle goes up four to two, trying to clear her right hand. She's overcoming a serious injury. Now she's trying to overcome Suki, who comes in on the offense. And Suki will not panic. She's a world champion from years past. Rotating up to the left. Suki kind of sucks her back, and Suki is going to have Miracle bridging up for dear life underneath. Position oh, here. The flexibility underneath and the pain that Miracle is showing as Suki, unorthodox, kind of reached back across the body. As it went to Mongolia, Miracle trying to change that, but Suki dumps her for two. It's confirmed. And now a 10-5 lead. Suki gets two more on the exposure. And if you're Suki, you want to go to your right here, drop your head on that leg lace, but good defense down there for Miracle. And again, she's got a lace, so she goes the opposite way now. And she keeps her feet running in a circle, and that's going to be it. Wow. Just came out firing that last minute. Really open to blow this one wide open. Suki will just hold, take a look at the clock, and one more roll before the. Wonder how that one would have played out if, um, you know, Miracle didn't bust her hand in the first 30 seconds. 5-1 Mongolia, weight number seven, 65 kilos of pure Dorch. Right at the whistle, comes in for two, and the theme continues to be Mongolia to shoot right away and have success. They look great against the all-world team. Now again here today, a little bit later in the morning, but you know, 11 a.m. start time here locally. And the Americans down five to one against Mongolia. To welcome. United World Wrestling to town as Belty tries to get back on her offense again, secures the legs near the edge, and that's here in America, coaching at Oregon State University, the Beaver Dam RTC. A nice crotch throw for cemented her spot into 65 kilos. Talked about her two world bronze medals, and again, it's the activity on the edge for Belty. That he does exactly what you're supposed to do to defend a slide by. Drops her level, gets to a leg attack, 
and scores that takedown on the edge to take a two-point lead a minute left here in the bout. Back and forth we go. Isn't this fun? As we go back to action. Nifty little go behind by Pure of Dorch, and she is going to cinch it. It's only appropriate. It seems like. Piercy for the Americans. Good young wrestler for Mongolia with Ulzi Sakan. Iran's golden boy, Gashampur, at 92 kilos. So, you know, it really took a 2 nothing win. Great opportunity for yeah, and, and Skylar Grote. 2022 has been her coming out party. Halfway through period number one, no score with Grote and Inkor Moore. Talked about the experience that was a momentum building. It's not going to slow down. It's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger for the women to compete in this sport. Well, I'm from Virginia, and we just voted to make women's wrestling a over-collar tie for Grote. Shoots to the opposite side and tries to sit through. And Kamar catches the head, sucks her back. Over-collar on her right side, that's her attack hand. There she is. That last time she shot to the left side, Hook up one big four-point throw is Grote. Last-ditch effort falls short. And Davison Incor Moore comes for something, gives herself a chance, unfortunately doesn't pay off. Bien. Saw an opportunity at this weight to compete for her country. Knew she had a good young squad. She wanted to be one of the leaders. And now here she is trying to fend off the American Guilford who launches the first assault and gets the two on the takedown. Immediately trying to hit this chain that you were talking about. Compete against her. You know, that, that's the beauty of this sport. And... Last her way to two more off the double. And it's all Guilford early, four, nothing. Working hard to ratchet up the knees, try to get a lace, and she has it. It's one turn. Readjust. She will drag Ochaber back to the center. She's one turn away, drags her again, and that is it. So Diamond Guilford ends this match in the first period. One of 11 children, Diamond was the first daughter for Roy, and the words Diamond Precious mean dear to her father's heart.